Hello, this is Iron Spider Fist, and today we're gonna take a look at vertical redstone signals or sending redstone signals upwards. So, without further ado, let's take a look at these fun contraptions with which you can send redstone signals upwards. So, for the first one, we've got a water elevator which has some items in this dropper and if you close it you can just use a redstone signal for this dropper to spit out an item which will then flow all the way to the top and at the top over here we've got an observer facing a string right here so when the item gets shot through um, it will send out a redstone signal and activating this piston so that the item gets pushed into this hopper right here. For the second one we've got some vines, twisting vines, um, that are just broken by a piston. This is a one-time use and um, will send a one-time redstone signal up to the top just by breaking the vines. You could also use sugarcane or bamboo. It's the same speed, um, basically any type of plant that grows upwards. Um, for sugarcane though, you'd have slight difficulties um, because it's one block wider at the bottom because you need water so that the sugarcane is able to grow. If we were to remove this water, it is possible, but you can't replant it now. If we try, it will not work. For the third method, we've got something which was well explained by El Mango. I'll have a link down in the description of the video. When you have a trapdoor underneath, um, such a scaffolding tower, and you open the trapdoor, then these will read as not supported. Um, these scaffolding blocks and this will change all the way up to the top so that you can take a redstone signal output from the top with an observer yeah and for the twisting vines you would also need an observer on top so you can detect the breaking of the vines and get an output from that so for the next one this is actually kind of fun we've got a dispenser with firework rockets shooting up um, a firework rocket with some space in between and basically what this does is you shoot a firework upwards and it will hit the target block and the target block will activate the next dispenser shooting the next firework. You can have 20 blocks in between these stations, more will be really unreliable. For the next contraption we do have a sticky piston with 11 slime blocks on top one redstone block and one free space and then repeating the same pattern for as long as you need and this will also send a redstone signal rather fast it's been known in the community for a long time and yeah this next one though is a bit similar but also kind of different so in this case we use observers and leaf blocks and stems or any type of logs so each time a log is pushed into a group of leaves the leaves in a distance of six blocks so six leaves upwards will have another tag which is then detected by the observer sending out a redstone signal to the next piston pushing up the next um, stem and changing the next tags of the leaves so that this goes on and sends a redstone signal to the top. Then for the next one we do have two node blocks getting powered then an observer and basically an observer chain going all the way up to the top. Two node blocks is always better because both node blocks will be activated through an observer and the observer, the next one, can detect from the higher node block that there is a signal going through. So it's 
really much more faster than just using observers by themselves or using observers and one rail or one redstone on top so this makes it um, very much faster and for the next one we've got our typical redstone torch tower you know the concept so this torch gets depowered in turn activating this torch depowering the next torch and so on for this one we have a redstone line going through transparent blocks spiraling upwards and then using a repeater to repeat the signal so that the signal reaches the top. We've got the same system with observers making it a bit more compact only using a two white space. So for the speed test each time one of these observers is activated we have the redstone block that is pushed to the top activating a lamp so that we see which one gets activated first and yeah then the lamps stay on so that we have an idea of what is the fastest and what's the slowest mechanism. For the bottom we have a setup which allows us to activate each of these mechanisms at the same time and see which one gets to the top the first. Also we do have this command block right here which will teleport us to the top so that we have a visual of what is going on. Then let's see, we will activate this right now and take a look. So as you can see this is all going really fast and yeah. So the fastest ones were these two marked with a netherite block because they are really the fastest. Why is that so? Because redstone dust is always instant. So as soon as the redstone dust gets powered we have a few delays with the repeaters or the observers just about one tick each time and this makes these the fastest ones. Then for the slime tower with the redstone blocks we also have um, very few delay because each piston will extend with one tick so this is also a really fast system. Then we've got the observer chain with the two node blocks which is also fairly fast but because of the amount of observers it's rather slow compared to the other three that we already discussed and then we've got four signals that travel the same speed so we've got the leaf tower which travels the same speed as a normal redstone torch tower as well as the new scaffolding mechanic and the broken plant you're using here so these are the same then we have as the next candidate in speed we do have the water elevator you could make this faster by detecting if it's a bubble column so we would have this observer one lower and using a bucket on the bottom with a dispenser to make the last one on the bottom a flowing water instead of a water source which will deactivate this water elevator instantly and giving out a very fast redstone signal. And for the last one with the rockets and the target block, this one is the slowest. But it's really fun to watch and yeah, that's why we have an extra category which is the fun category. So these are a few interesting ways to send up redstone signals. If you have anything to add, any questions, comment down below. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.